Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. I'm Susan Lynn. I'm a psychic and a medium. Today we're going to be talking politics. Thank you so much for sending in your questions that I'm now going to ask my spirit guides, whom you probably cannot see, or maybe you can. If you can see them, tell them to stop eating donuts and get back to work. So here's where we're going to start with, um, and I do want to preface this by saying I am channeling. I can channel where I give over all of my faculties, all of my uh, humanness to the entity that I'm channeling. I don't like it. <laughs> I look, I look weird. Um, I think and the guides, the spirit guides often say they like this combination of human spirit guide because the message is more palatable. It's sort of like um, you're more likely to watch basically is what that means. Uh, so anyway, you're, you'll see me talking to them. You'll, you'll see me interact with them, but mainly when I'm talking like this, I'm channeling and you'll see me. If you watch, you can see when I pop out and I pop in. It's pretty obvious. Okay. So anyway, I want to start with something really timely. Uh, hopefully I will get this video up before the decision has been made today. I'm looking at the clock. It's 9 a.m. in the morning here at Central Time. Uh, Carmen Aguilar says, I have this lingering feeling that Trump will get one last helping hand. Please tell me I'm so wrong. Listen, am I wearing my amethyst? Look, I talk about do whatever you need to do to be calm during this period of time, because when you go into Trump's energy, now here's the thing, like I can just, I can just predict, yes, he is. No, he's not. I'm sorry. That's boring to me. I want to know why I'm the kid who is now a you know, middle-aged kid going, but why, but why I want to know the why. So I'm going to be telling you the why, not just the answer, but the why, because honestly, you guys, your guys' intuition is increasing and it's going to help you in your personal life anyway to understand how energy works. So I would just say to you, Carmen, I agree with you. He is not the kind of person, obviously, who's just going to take a defeat and walk away. How many bankruptcies has this man had? How many opportunities has he had to just you know, shuffle off the mortal coil or how many opportunities has he had to say, God, I suck at being a businessman. I'm going to do something else. He doesn't care. He's the energizer bunny of failure. He's going to continue to do it and always expect a new result. We all know what that is. That's the definition of insanity. When you do something over and over again and you expect a different result, you know, maybe that's me. Never mind. Let's talk. Let's stay on Trump. Okay. Here's what I want to talk about this morning. Their uh, true social, his social media, which is so dystopian because it's called truth and you send out truths. And if you are a, if you send out a truth, you're a truther and the whole thing is nothing. There's no truth in any of it. So it is literally the going to be, if you have a 10 year old, when they're in college, they're going to be reading this. This is going to be the definition of dystopia, right? The, the whole idea of of Donald Trump's social media platform, but he's taking it public. He's what well, he's trying. The guides correct him. He's trying to take it public. He's been trying for a while now. Now what they did was they created a shell company, which apparently is common and it's called a backdoor, some kind of backdoor thing, which is so apropos for this whole, you know, shenanigans that this guy's doing. Um, the guides want to call it a lark, but anyway, so that's today that they could vote on that today. If they vote this through, this guy could get like three billion with a B dollars in six months. Now, theoretically, he cannot sell any stocks or shares for six months. However, we all know this man never met a law or a rule that he didn't think he could just discard. So if this goes through today, this guy would have all of a sudden an asset to play with. Now, the bottom line is this. I, I don't see it happening. I think there's a 95% chance it does not happen today. So it's a 5% chance it happens. Is anything in this world 100% death? Death is at this point in our evolution, 100%. I'm not ever going to be 100% right because humans are not 100% predictable. Okay. So I think what I hear is no. What, what the guides tell me is no, he's not going to get it. He has um, and, and he has foes, he has enemies on this board that is voting. This, I think, is evident. I think there's been two people who've already stuck sticks in the spokes of his bike before or slowed this process down before. 
However, I want to just say to you guys, because I really feel like my job, and I had a whole conversation when I was talking to my spirit guides yesterday about this. And I said, is this a job? Wait, wait, this is a job? Then I want, you know, like a raise. I actually got in trouble actually with that. So I'm not going to go down that road. Um, <laughs> so, but this is my job here. Now, when I see trouble, I felt the energy like boing. Like when I go too far, it like smacks me back. <laughs> it's interesting. It's a very interesting life I lead. Anyway, I feel like he is right. My job is forewarned, is forearmed. My job is to help you guys understand the bigger picture, not just to predict, right? So again, back to what they were just saying, Trump doesn't quit, right? He just does not quit. So some options for him that he could see as winning. Now, I think his version of winning is very different than maybe the rest of us, <laughs> but whatever, right? I mean, he can take something and spin it on his stage to his cult believers and have them believe that it's a win. So I'm just going to give you some of those options. First of all, the guides are telling me that any kind of thing like this, it's called, it's a DWAC. So you might hear it in the news called DWAC because that's the name of the company that's going to be the shell company that's going to take this public. Donald Trump isn't taking this public. The shell company is taking it public. However, once it goes public, there will be a new symbol on the ticker of the stock market, which is DJT, which should make us all throw up in our mouths. But anyway, today, I don't think it's going to happen. Is it going to happen in the future? Quite possibly, because I feel like this is a way to channel or funnel money to DJT, allegedly and for entertainment purposes only. So in this way, it would be a legal way for an outside entity, let's say like perhaps some Saudi prince or some Chinese billionaire or some oligarch or who knows who, frankly, maybe even, I mean, I'm not even going to name the countries because I get in, I, I have to worry about my <laughs> viability is what they said. I was going to use safety, but they're like your viability. I'm like, damn, I don't like this job. I think I need hazard pay. Anyway, I don't know how I signed up for this, but man, did I ever sign up for it? Okay. Anyway, so this is an opportunity. This is a cash cow. The guides just said, this thing is a cash cow. Can he make, is it worth $3 billion? No. Can he, uh, you know, fraud people out of some money? Yes. Can he get $3 billion from these other places, these other countries? Yes. Now, something I want to disabuse you guys of, everybody tries to apply logic to these things. Just stop. You're driving yourself crazy by trying to do that because there's no logic here. And in as much as what you're thinking is going on, the logic is, and it, it, once you understand it, it makes sense. But in the beginning, you're like, why would anybody give Donald Trump money? He's not going to pay them back. True. That is absolutely 100% true. He has no intentions of paying anybody back. If some country gave him a billion dollars, he has no intentions of paying them back. And you want to know what? They know that. This isn't a loan. This is a buy-off. There's a very different thing between I'm paying you for your services versus I'm going to help you out and I'm going to make a lot of money in return as in a loan. These aren't loans, honey. These are buy-offs. Okay. So just think of it like that. All of a sudden, all of this grift is going to make sense to you because his people, his, his, his base do not have the money. They're strapped. Are they going to st still send their 20, 50, 100 bucks? Yes, they are. Is that going to equal a billion dollars? No, it's not. It's just not because his base keeps getting smaller and smaller. Now, the smaller it gets, the more potent it gets because you're distilling it down to the real crazies, to the real fanatical people, the people that have, you know, that were just kind of in it for one reason or another. They're breaking off. They're breaking off. They're breaking off. Even Pence, for the love of God, finally found his cojones. I don't know where he replaced, he, he misplaced them, but he found them. Maybe mother found them. Maybe she had him. I don't know. But he found him. And he said, I cannot in good conscience. <laughs> what is that, Mike Pence? I cannot in good conscience um, support Donald Trump. So 
Some people are peeling off. All that's left is the crazies and the fanaticals, a much smaller group. And frankly, they're not moneyed. So, but they, what they are, the guides are saying is the cover. So you can say to the SEC, the FEC, the election, whatever, whatever, whatever government agency, I'm getting all this money from small donors. You're not, you're getting it from this dark money that, that can come through these shell organizations, which the Republicans handily set up like Citizens United, the guides are saying. Since Citizens United was it, that was the end of fair, honest elections. That's what the guides just said to me. Okay, so now I've told you guys, I don't think this thing is going to go public. It, it could, there's a 5% chance that it could. I feel like the 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 there's negotiations happening right now. Like, you know, there's something that could slip through, 5%. Now, the other thing that I want to tell you, because this is winning but losing, I, I've told you guys this before. I know I have a lot of new viewers. Welcome, buckle up. The blankets over there, the pacifiers are over there. There's tequila in the closet. Don't drink it all. Uh, do what you got to do. You know, get some amethyst. I mean, for real, get some amethyst. Get a lot of amethyst. Um, do what you got to do. Be healthy. Don't over drink or overdo anything. Be healthy. I need you to survive through the next elections. We're counting on you. So if you're going to have to self-soothe, I'd rather you grab the blanket and the crash helmet and get in the corner rather than get the tequila. Okay. So be healthy. We need you. Okay. Now, how's he going to make this a win? Well, because the guides told you that he wanted to go to jail. There was a time he was sitting in the courtroom um, in New York, I believe it was. And he was telling his followers, I'm going to jail. They're going to put me in jail. Do you know how much money that would make him? Number one. Number two, he bonds with his people. It's really this weird psychological, psych psychological operations, PSYOP. It's this weird thing that he's playing on his people where his people have a wound. His people are white and of a certain age. And they have this wound of, having their power taken away. You know, a, a lot, it, you know what? It, the guides are reminding me because I wouldn't know any of this stuff, I swear to God. When they did a breakdown of the Jan 6 people that were, you know, the rioters, not the hostages, the rioters. <laughs> Do you know that a, a large proportion of those people had liens against them with the IRS? These people already, already aren't paying their IRS bills. They're already feeling like They've been sabotaged by the government. They're already feeling like they don't like the government. So that's Donald Trump. I'm I'm being sabotaged by the government. The FBI is out to get me. The IRS is out to get me. Biden hates me. I'm a patriot. My country's against me. That's the wound. That's one of the wounds. I'm being persecuted. Get off the floor. Stop laughing. I know you're laughing. You're going to throw, you're going to like herniate from laughing, but it's true. They think they're being persecuted because they've had so much power and privilege that once they actually are held to any kind of account, they can only feel persecuted. If you don't have power and privilege, which frankly, as a white woman, I don't even know what that feels like. Then you understand what that's like. You live it every day. But when certain people, white men, start losing their privilege and their power to women, to people of other cultures and races and IQs, then they feel persecuted. So when DJT is persecuted, they feel they feel seen. They feel like our our man has taken one for us. I feel the same way he feels. Now, in their crazy minds, they can't separate the fact that this guy has had and pissed away a billion dollars, right? I mean, they can't understand that he is not them. He leads a much bigger life with a lot more money than they ever will have. But again, this is the Republican Party. I did the, the video on democracy. Please watch it because the guides explain clubs they, they explain status and hierarchy and class.
Okay, so if I throw a Republican sticker on my car, I'm now a classier person. I'm in an I'm in a higher club than everybody else. The Democrats have all those other people that don't look like me, that are different colors, that perhaps have different sexual orientation, that perhaps are immigrants or their parents are immigrants. You know, those people are the unwashed, you know, those people are, are lesser than. So I'm going to throw the Republican sticker on that I bought with five bucks. And now all of a sudden I'm better than, even if, even if I'm gay, lesbian, black, Hispanic, Asian, you know, whatever, even if I'm an immigrant, I'm part of the club that gives me instant access to the club. So you understand, right? So by getting his, by, why do I see bolt cutters? I don't know. I see bolt cutters, like a big chain and bolt cutters cutting a big chain uh, maybe he changed the doors so Tish James can't get in. I don't know. Um, but by, by taking his properties, he's going to be closer to them. He's going to help them understand. I'm just like you government's after me, help me, send me money. They're coming for me. They're going to come for you. Isn't that exactly what he says? This is exactly what he says. I'm standing in the breach between you and them. I'm keeping them from coming for you. So this is what he's going to pull out of his hat. If he, if, it, if all the other things fail, he's going to pull out the victim card. And that's, that's going to be the card he plays pretty often, the guides are saying, between now and November, all the way up to November if he survives, which I really don't think he's going to. But if he does survive, he's not going to be on the, he's not going to be on the ticket. But even, you know, he could be a martyr. If he's locked up, he's going to be a martyr. If he if he's unalived, if he's in the great McDonald's in the sky, then he's going to be a martyr. So he's still going to be playing the victim card. So you understand his energy is going to continue. Now, I don't think he's, the reason I'm telling you this is because you we talked about winning the war despite losing the battles. And I am not a historian. I know nothing. I'm just a good vessel, right? They're telling me about what? Um, they're telling me about the Civil War and how there were certain battles that looked like it was over, like the South was going to win. And something, some little thing happened and turned the tide for the North. This is exactly the energy we're in. It's going to, it may look to you like all odds are against us or that we're losing or whatever. It's not going to happen. I'll just tell you one more time that if I really thought that he was going to win, and, and I mean this wholeheartedly, because really and truly, I'm not close to my family and really all I have is a dog. <laughs> so um, me and my dog would be on a plane. I, I would be talking to you from a different country. I, I promise you. I promise you, promise you. I might leave Texas because honestly, I just can't do it anymore. Not only just the po political climate, but the, the heat climate is just, you know, too much for me. So I might be moving out of Texas, but I'm not moving out of the country. We are going to pull this off. We are going to steer the ship, right the ship. Sometimes they show us like a, like a sailboat on its side with the sail in the water. We're going to ride it and we're going to, we're going to sail off. But my God, it's going to be kind of crazy and ugly and maybe even anxiety producing between now and then. So my advice to you again is don't ride the roller coaster. These I follow some really good legal scholars on YouTube or on whatever, Twitter, um, because I like facts. But sometimes they just drive me crazy because when they see things like, this is not a delay. Judge Cannon is not delaying. I'm like, yes, she is. I mean, psychically, she is. I'm sorry, she is. So, you know, they're so dry and rule of law that they lose sight of human. How you can be a, a past prosecutor and not have seen humans be human, right? It's just that they're so, it's the Democrats, right? It's the same thing I talked about in the democracy video that, you want to err on the side of neutrality to the point where you're about to fall over from your own um, perspective of neutrality. 
you're not really cool, cold eye, steely eye judging like a judge should. You're all the way over here trying to give no impression of any, you know, bias that you've taken yourself out of the range of being neutral. Okay. So that's kind of our problem. That's kind of Merrick Garland's problem that that's, a, a, and we are getting over that. The Democrats are getting over that. You see Biden getting over that. Um, but it makes it hard sometimes. So let me move on. I, I just, I know that was one question, but I just want to say that these are important concepts for you to understand. And I think that if you understand the concept, you're going to be much more well situated to get through these next months, because these next months are going to look insane. But if you understand that he's just doing it to build his base, and if you understand dark money is coming in and you understand that he's never going to repay it, then you understand the game. The other part of the game is please know that there are American oligarchs and there are external oligarchs. And the Cheneys and the Kinzingers and the Pences want this to be set up, want our country to be set up through American oligarchs. Maybe even the Flynn and the 524, what is that? 2025, 2025 project, whatever. Um, these super far right, really um, incredibly scary religious groups want the American oligarch idea. That is that there is a ruling class. Remember the club. There is a ruling class. Stop questioning us. Stop regulating us. We are in charge of you. You do what we say. Like right now, the spirit guides are showing me how somebody in Congress was saying, of course, it's a Republican, was saying that why are we letting people retire through Social Security at this age? They're well, they can work well into their 80s. With the extension of our lifespan, they should work longer. When people tell you who they are, believe them. Right now, they're still talking about reducing Social Security. They want more productivity out of Americans. They want more productivity, not less. Now, I'll do a whole other video on this because this is what's coming. And I, I, the guides want me, I'm not going to do it right now. I will do it in the future where I'm going to talk about what is the future. How, because there's a clash coming, the, gu the guides have told you about, where humans are saying, screw you, we don't want your job. We would just as rather work Uber uh, or we are working remotely and you're telling me I have to go back to the office. I'm not doing it, make me. There's really a work slowdown going. So whereas the Republicans want more productivity, humans are saying no. So it's a clash, right? There's a clash in what the humans who are the workers want and what the CEOs want. And this is setting up what I've been telling you guys where everybody's going to get in the streets with their pitchforks. It's going to be class warfare. Um, and I think that at that point, Republicans, Trumpers, not all Trumpers, because again, you've got the fanatics. They're, they're cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. But some of the ones that were just like having this persecution complex are going to realize that their money is going to a grifter and they're going to realize that this person has no intention of ever helping them at all in any way, shape or form. And they're going to realize that Biden has been helping them in all shapes and forms. And then we're all going to be in the street together. The guides have talked about this many times. We're all going to be in the streets together protesting something that we have common interest on. Perhaps it is, you know, social security, right? Perhaps it is a woman's right to choose. Who knows? It could even be border issues that we find common ground on. It, it really, really, truly could be money that America sends to other countries for to help them. You could find Democrats and Republicans in the street together over common issues, at which point I'm going to be looking at them. They're going to be looking at me. And we're going to be like, uh, what you doing? <laughs> what are you doing here? And they're going to be like, what are you doing here? And we're going to figure out that we have this common interest. And then they are gonna figure out that their people sold them down, down the river. And perhaps we have some grief or, or griefs about our own administration, who knows? Democrats, 
Democrats are like cats. They're not herd word. You cannot herd them. So I, and I feel like this is more 2025, but in the meantime, everything is on track. Everything is, maybe I should just end this video here and start over again with a new video because <laughs> this video has probably been going on for 20 or 30 minutes. Um, everything is on track. I'm just checking. Yeah, I mean, think about your track being hilly. For those of you that live in hills, I do not. But think about, you know, you go down the hill, you can't see anything. You go up, you're like, oh, here comes another downhill because you've got some vantage, right? And you go down. This your your road is hilly. It's going to be up and down, you guys. It's not it's not going to be a smooth sailing straight out. It's just not. We've always told you the roller coaster. We are now here in this part of the movie where we have the roller coaster. You're going to see things that you're going to be elated about. You know, perhaps him losing seven springs. You're going to see that. Um, I think Monday, uh, Tish James has already put liens. She's already done. She's already done the work. Just in case this was going to happen, everything is already done. She's done her homework in advance, so to speak. So all she's got to do is really push some buttons and things start happening. So you might see some things that you think finally prove that justice is coming. But understand, he's going to use that to his own benefit. That that in that we are in a dualistic world, right? There is no what is right and wrong, what is up and down, that we're in a paradox. Anything that happens to him, he's going to turn it around and use it to his favor. That's going to work for a little bit, the guides are saying, but I don't think it's going to work for long. And I really think I am going to end this video and start a new one because you guys have all these questions and I think I've gone on for 30 minutes. But um, I, I'll just stay on this topic and then I'll, I'll start a new video that will come out a little bit later. So um, I'm getting some energy right now about him. Really something bad is happening for him in June. Now, April, I think, is a big month. I mean, don't get me wrong. We've been saying March and April all last year. All of us in this community, you ask us a question and we answered March and April. Seriously, here we are, March, and we're coming into April. March is the lunar eclipse, which is going to expose everything. And April is the solar eclipse, which I think is going to basically, they just said like Icarus, like he's flying too close to the sun and he might burn up in that, in that um, eclipse. Things, I feel like things are undone. Things come undone for him. Now, in the meantime, we might have some hits. Like right now, they're trying to uh, take Fonnie Willis, continuing to try to take Fonnie Willis off the case in Atlanta by allowing appeal this up to the higher courts and then they'll appeal it to the state supreme court so this this case is on hold chutkin's case is on hold um cannon's case is on hold what we have right now is e Jean carroll taking his money which we've always said what we have right now is alvin bragg which i think that's the stormy daniels uh, election interference, hush money case, that feels like it really could be something. It feels like it could be one of those arrows that hits, right? So the guides always told you there's a hundred archers because they wanted to help you with your expectations. They wanted you to understand not everything is going to work. There's a hundred archers, 95 miss. 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 5, Tish James, Fonnie Willis, Jack Smith, E. Jean Carroll, and Alvin Bragg. They've been saying this for over a year. Here we are. Here, Who are the players? Those five people. Those five people are going to be the, the hits. Now, when is it going to hit him? I've told you guys, or the spirit guides have told you guys, I've never seen him getting through a criminal trial because he doesn't live through it. I've never seen him getting through a criminal trial. Either A, he gets he gets um, diagnosed as criminally insane, which is really a very real possibility, or he goes to the great McDonald's in the sky. And when I said Alvin Bragg, when I went into the Alvin Bragg energy of that case, 
that's when I got this in my head, a pain in my head. I've often seen him going to the Hamburglar in the sky via a stroke. We've always, we've said that for 18 months. I don't know, forever. I don't know. Watch my videos. They're all there. Um, ischemic, uh, I think a small strokes, but I think the big, the mother load, they just, I, they just said the mother load. Am I wishing for him to die? No, I am not God. I don't know when he's going to die. I'm just channeling the information. Did I get in trouble in 2017 when I asked every single day when he would die? Yeah. My guides had an intervention and said, Susan, you're not well. You've got to stop asking about this man's death. It's not healthy. <laughs> so I had to stop asking. So if I I do ask, <laughs> but now it's like every three weeks instead of every day. So I've gotten better. I've been rehabilitated, they said. <laughs> anyway, um, so I do think that this man could be checking out or or he has a stroke and is incapacitated to the degree that it's obvious to everyone. Like there's no discussion, even Mike Pence, even uh, Lindsey Graham, uh, whoever might be someone who would say, or Mitch McConnell, um, even Mitch McConnell, who literally fritzes out, like, you know, like we would say in the old days, it's on the fritz, <laughs> you know, even old Fritz McConnell, um, even he would say, yeah, he's not doing too well. You know, like, uh, he can't he can't be president, you know. So it's going to be without a doubt that he will not be able to serve as president. Now, we have some other shock and awes coming. I do believe that there's a, a balancing. The karma is a balancing. OK, so I I feel like besides Menendez, who's a Democrat, who's in trouble, I feel like there could be another Democrat Um there's somebody that they're going to trump up charges on. I like that that Trump is Trump, right? So there's there's somebody else that they're, I don't know who that is. He's got dark hair. I think he's a senator. It might be Jamie Raskin. Doesn't he have dark hair? Um, who is that? And now I'm seeing Marco Rubio. Anyway, it, it, you know, what they, they peddle in obfuscation, right? They, they peddle in fraud, they peddle in uh, whatever they can to change the narrative to look at the Democrats, right? I mean, look at, they're still trying to impeach Biden. It's not going to happen. It's never going to happen. But yet Fox News covers it. And so as long as it gets ratings and views and money in the coffers, they're going to continue using it. Okay. Now, with that, I'm going to sign off on this video, and I really am going to do another video that's going to come out tonight, tomorrow, I don't know, because there's about 20 videos that they have in my head, and honestly, I'm tired of it. They wake me up and give me an entire video. I, I put a lot of notes in my phone. I wake up and put a lot of notes in my phone, but by the time I can get time to do a video, the freaking you know, uh, crazy news has moved down on, you know what I mean? That's why we talk about big concepts here. So I'm going to post this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. I see your questions. They're right here in front of me. If you want to put questions, you can go to the logo, the little squirrely thing, this thing right here. Uh, click on that. You'll go to my main YouTube page. Click along the top community. You will see where I'm asking for questions. Please put your questions or read the questions and hit the thumbs up. If I see a question with a lot of thumbs up, I'll try for sure to read that one just as a way to understand what you guys want me to read. OK, so that might be a way to sort of narrow the focus. So vote on your first on your best question and post your own question if you want. Uh, most of all, take really, really good care of yourself. I'll be back. I have the I have the weekend off, so to speak. So I'm going to be doing a few more videos. So uh Let's get this done. Everything is going to be okay. Do not worry. If this thing with DWAC goes through, it doesn't matter, you guys. You can give this guy $4 billion and he's still going to prison or he's still going to the great Hamburglar in the sky. It doesn't matter. I just want you to understand this. No amount of money is going to save him. Zero amount of money is going to save him. It doesn't matter. What it what it what it can help us with is that his voters, those ones that aren't completely batshit crazy, can go, wait, what who wait, 
North Korea? Wait, Saudi Arabia? Wait, uh, you know, Russia? Uh, wait, uh, Iran? You know, gave him money? You know what I mean? Like allegedly for entertainment purposes only? Mexico gave him money? You know what I mean? Like there, there's some African country? Oh my God, some African country? You know, think about it, you guys. This is going to backfire on his big orange rear end. It's going to backfire. Everything backfires. He's not meant to be the president. End of story. Really what's more important is the media. We need to hold the media accountable to their stories, to how they report things. We have to hold the media accountable. That's how we get out of this crazy place we're in. So I will answer the rest of your questions. Probably post it tomorrow. This is going to post today on Friday. Take really, really good care of yourselves. I'll see you again real soon. Susan Lynn, Psychic Medium, signing out of my, I feel like I'm clocking out of my job, of one of my, how many jobs do I have? Anyway, see you soon. For entertainment purposes only.